today we decided to sleep in and we're at the Bay Harbor Market today. market very nice market it's much better than the Thailand markets because it's like they have good food there and like an outdoor kind of seating place so you don't get too hot I was really impressed with the uh, art and the uh, things they can do with like a simple can of soda and stuff like that that was really cool you know sometimes you don't learn to appreciate what you have so I think you know, seeing those things, like, wow, they can make all these things with, like, a can of soda or a simple rock and stuff like that. Okay, so we came to another market. Just to see the difference, you know, between markets and stuff and what we can find in one and what we can find the other one. Let's see how this one looks. This is more like a street market, so pretty cool. in the market I'm not gonna show you yet but that's so many cool stuff here look at that everywhere you look it's just a bunch of like handmade art it's crazy as we came out from the market we got some stuff you know the market was pretty nice it was really the, I think Green Harbor market yes I'm gonna try to have some delicious medicine right now aka coffee you already know so we're done having some early lunch and now we're going back to the apartment and I think we're gonna go to the beach. But I wanted to say if you're looking for souvenirs, I would definitely recommend the Green um, Market, the Green Harbor Market. No, I think it's just Green Market. And it's right here in the middle of Cape Town by Long Street. We found a lot of like cool, interesting little trinkets. Whereas in the Bay Harbor, market there wasn't so many things there was more food there so definitely go to green market for so many years sun rays maybe get a tan because in New York it's still winter so you know you got to get those tan lines we're walking to the end of the beach maybe we're gonna fly the drone we're gonna see